YouTube. What up, though? It's your boy Kel, and I want to welcome each and every one of you to my seventh installment of Riding with Kel. This week, right here, we're going to be talking about the top three things every trucker should avoid. So stay tuned for Riding with Kel. Hey. All right, family. All right, so number one, the first thing that all truckers should avoid is the damn right lane. Yeah, the right lane is one of the most dangerous lanes that any trucker can get caught up in. If you're in the right lane for too long, you know, you got to deal with people that's merging over. If you're in there too long, you got to worry about people that's coming up on your left-hand side, you know, and blocking you in. Slow traffic, you know, you got people coming up on the left, people coming in the back. You can get blocked in. It can slow your speed down. All that. So the right lane is one of the number one things that a trucker should avoid. If you're on a four-lane highway, you should be in the second lane from the right. If you're in a six lane highway, you should be in the third lane from the right. That way you can keep your speed going and flowing and all that good stuff. So that's number one. All right, all right, all right. So number two, number two, this is a big one. Casinos. Yeah, there are a lot of truckers out there that just love to get they gamble on. They love to get they Lot Lizard on, that's a whole different story, but Lot Lizards do be at casinos, so I've heard, so I've heard. Casinos can drain your pocket, they can take time from your clock, and they're a vice that if you're not good at, you're gonna lose a lot of money. Even the best gamblers can go to the wrong casinos and, and get bone dry, get drained, bone dry. So casinos, where well, young truckers, Casinos aren't that bad of a thing, but you still got some young ones that like to go to casinos when they have off time. Older truckers really get it in at the casinos. You know, you got the blackjack, you got poker, you got the slot machines, you got pretty people walking around, pretty women walking around, not people, that sounds weird. Pretty women walking around. You got all kind of things that can get your attention at a casino. And there are a lot of truck stops that have casinos built into them. And that's by design. They up north, they got truck stops with dispensaries also in them. So yeah, you know, as a trucker, you should avoid that type of trap. But hey, you know, do what you do, you know. But if you want to save that money, you know, it's a different story. Word. All right, family. So number three, truckers should avoid rural back roads this is really big this is really big like depending on certain construction or certain detours a lot of times road main roads will lead you into like rural back roads you do not want to get caught up in these roads because nine times out of ten these roads are not made for trucks and if you get stuck it's gonna be hell to get out of I remember one time I was in Florida and I ended up going, I was in Florida and I ended up going down a back road and it took me 200 miles out of the way to get back to a main interstate. Pissed off wasn't even the word, but lesson was learned at the end of the day, lesson was learned. So number three, truckers should avoid at all costs going to detours that lead them to back roads. You can lose your job, you can lose your rig, you know, you can lose your mind, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's number three, word. All right, family, so this week, um, I went to Ramaldo's Pizza. Yeah, that's the name of it. Ramaldo's Pizza in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And family, when I tell you this pizza was on point, 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 point. Check it out, family. Just, just, just check it out. Just, just, just check it out. 
So first I got some um, strips, you know, I got the fries a little burnt, you know, I like a little crisp to them, a little, little honey, honey mustard, you know what I mean? Them joints been bossing, but this right here, family, this right here is what I came for. Look at that. Me love his family. The sausage was hitting, the sauce was hitting, the crust was hitting. All that. Look at all that. Look at that gooeyness. Look at the ham. Look at the sauce. Look at the bacon. The bacon. And then if you look in the corner, you see I got a little, little garlic sauce. You know what I mean? All together. Bussing. Look at it. Yeah, family. So, you know, that pizza was bussing um, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. If any of y'all ever around the way, you know what I mean? Tell them Kel sent you. You know, they might hook you up with a little sham sham, you know. Um, the pizza was hitting. It was just right. Had a nice little bite to it. It was on point point. Uh, the chicken strips, the chicken tenders were hitting. I like the seasoning. They had like this nice seasoning. It wasn't just like salt, pepper, and like flour. It was like some other stuff going on in there. It had a little spiciness, a little sweetness, but it still was busting, you know. Um yeah family um i i want to appreciate i want to take the time um to let every one of you know i appreciate you um you know you're gonna catch me you know on the next one or you you might catch me in the wind you know because you know i'll be riding you know riding with care i'll be riding um but anyway family um uh like share and subscribe and you have been riding with care